Scientists measure black holes by their Schwarzschild radius. The distance from where its gravity starts and the hole itself. Our smallest black hole has a 7-mile radius. Number 2 is just 8 miles. Little black holes like this can only be spotted when they eat the material of passing stars. Here we have a huge red star, UI Scuti. Four quadrillion Earths could fit into it, but a black hole its radius would be around 16 miles. V404 Cygni is a little bigger at 17 miles. It whizzes around a nearby giant star every six days, slowly consuming its gases. Betelgeuse's black hole would be 21 miles. When this star goes supernova, it will be bright enough to see during the day and cast shadows on Earth at night. Now for Antares at 24 miles. This star is 700 times bigger than the Sun, but a million times less dense. Cygnus X1, 27 miles. Super dense stellar black holes can squeeze several times the mass of the Sun into a city sized area. M33 X7, 29 miles. One day, the star close to this black hole will collapse to create a double black hole system. Here we have a real big star. It's 2,000 times bigger than the Sun. But its black hole would be way smaller than the Grand Canyon, at just 31 miles in radius. Mu Cephei may soon become a black hole with a 35-mile radius. It's surrounded by a huge layer of dust and water vapor. Rigel burns through its hydrogen fuel thousands of times faster than our Sun and may soon go supernova. Its black hole radius would be 39 miles. Now back to a real one. It's 578 miles. Black holes are so good at producing energy that some scientists want to power spaceships with them. M82X1 has a radius of 808 miles. No one is certain this is a black hole, but it's far brighter than any star. Getting larger here at over 2,000 miles. The view from this one would be amazing. It's surrounded by a cluster of huge, very hot stars. NGC 1313X1 is 9,000 miles. You don't get sucked into a black hole. Objects fall into them. A leap forward with HLX1, which is 37,000 miles. There could be up to a billion black holes in the Milky Way. IC432 is our first supermassive black hole at 932,000 miles. Ones like this sit in the center of most galaxies and physically hold them together in space. Circinus, at 2.3 million miles, throws superheated gas in every direction, kind of like me. The gas cascades back into it like an enormous cosmic fountain. Messier 32, 6 million miles. Black holes slowly lose their mass into space until they evaporate. Sagittarius A is the Milky Way's local supermassive black hole. It's 7.5 million miles in radius, big enough to fit nearly 170 Jupiters across its diameter. Although it has a radius of 9.3 million miles, Messier 61 shares its galaxy's core with a huge and very dense cluster of stars. NGC 3783 is 16 million miles. Black holes spin around at almost the speed of light. Next up is an 18 million miles wide black hole. If two galaxies collide, two supermassive black holes might end up sharing the galactic core together. This black hole is 22 million miles now. A huge ring of dust circles billions of miles from its edge. NCG 3227, 26 million miles. If you fell into a black hole, you would literally be stretched out like a strand of spaghetti. And your friends could call you fettuccine. Our next one is 39 million miles. This enormous black hole dominates a galaxy that's 500 times smaller than the Milky Way. Messier 108 stretches to 44 million miles. Black holes sometimes spit out planet-sized objects at 20 million miles per hour. Markarian 335 is 48 million miles. 
big black holes can produce enough material to create new stars, which form outside their parent galaxy. At 70 million miles, this mysterious black hole has begun to grow more slowly over the last 25,000 years. Messier 96, 88 million miles. The laws of physics break down inside black holes. Objects falling into them seem to slow down as they get closer. Centaurus A is 101 million miles. Its much smaller cousins, called micro black holes, exist for only one octillionth of a nanosecond. This next one is 128 million miles in radius. Black holes in neighboring galaxies can eject gas in a synchronized way. Feral 9, 147 million miles. A galactic sized black hole can switch off star formation in a galaxy. I'm too lazy to pronounce its name, black hole. <laughs> 165 million miles. This galaxy contains three supermassive black holes at its center. With this next one, we've reached 238 million miles. Once caught by a black hole, you can never escape. But you could fire a rocket to increase the length of your fall, whatever that means. The Andromeda Galaxy's black hole is 312 million miles. It will impact the Milky Way in about 4.5 billion years. So keep an eye out for that. After Andromeda, we have this one at 404 million miles. It takes less than a billion years for a supermassive black hole to form. But the smallest ones can form in just a few seconds. Messier 59 is nearly 500 million miles. This one rotates in the opposite direction to its galaxy and appears to be asleep. Here we have a radius of 621 million miles. Black holes can only be detected indirectly from the superheated material circling around them. The black hole in NGC 4261 feeds on a disk of dust that's 800 light years wide. The hole itself is 746 million miles in radius. NGC blah blah blah. 932 million miles. Even the biggest black holes aren't large enough to eat the entire galaxy around them. Well, that's a good thing. With Messier 49, we hit the 1 billion mile mark. <coughs> no one really knows if black holes help to create galaxies or the other way around. NGC 1275, 1.5 billion miles. Black holes have been discovered more than 13 billion light years from Earth. Our next one is 1.8 billion miles. It would take much longer than the current age of the universe for most black holes to evaporate. At 2.1 billion miles, this one has a diameter that's 11 times larger than the orbit of Neptune. Messier 84, 2.7 billion miles. Stars and gas circulate this black hole at 880,000 miles per hour. With a 3.7 billion mile radius, this one is so big that it begins to heat up gas falling into it at a distance of 700 light years. Cygnus A, 4.6 billion miles. Scientists recently observed this one firing ricocheting jets of energy at nearby gas clouds. How rude! The 7.5 billion mile Hercules A, not B, is more than a thousand times heavier than the Milky Way's biggest black hole. Messier 60, 8.3 billion miles. The largest black holes can grow faster than their galaxies and may tear them apart. And that's the thanks you get? M87 is the first and only black hole we've ever taken a photo of. You're staring at a radius of 11.8 billion miles. NGC uh, something. 13.7 billion miles. Objects that enter black holes can never be recovered by the universe. Now we're up to 17.8 billion miles with NGC 3842. Particles may travel forwards in time when they enter a black hole. And here come some real monsters. This black hole is 18.6 billion miles. The light from it has traveled across the entire universe for nearly 11 billion years. Add on a few more billion and we're up to 22 billion miles. Black holes may be responsible for creating our universe as well as other ones. 
Our next giant is 30.4 billion miles. Some experts think there are traces of black holes that existed before the universe itself. OJ-287 brings us to 33 billion miles. Black holes are so heavy that they literally make space around them curved. Now, there are just too many NGCs on this list, and this one is 36.6 billion miles. Ultramassive black holes like this appear in huge clusters of galaxies and swallow incredible amounts of hot gas. It's all about gas. Now, we're still not done. This black hole is 55 billion miles in radius, so its diameter is 14 times bigger than Pluto's orbit. But its big brother is 62 billion miles. A black hole with a mass of 2 pounds would take a decillion years to swallow the Earth. Our next ultra-massive one is 73 billion miles. It would take more than 1,000 years traveling at light speed to reach the nearest black hole. Holmberg 15a, 88 billion miles. As you approach a black hole, the space around you moves faster than light. TON 618, possibly the biggest ever black hole, is 121 billion miles in radius and shines as bright as 140 trillion suns. Wrap your head around that one. As the biggest galaxy in the known universe, IC 1101, probably has the largest black hole as well, at around 128 billion miles. <laughs>